Because pancakes are gross. I told you we should have gone to weigh out waffles instead. Who wants to be stuck in the dark ages of breakfast when you can have alien abduction bug-eyed waiters? And if you agree to their experiments, all the crispy, crunchy, mind-boggling, delicious waffles of the fourth kind an abductee could ever ask for. <laughs> Waffles are more than just breakfast food, Grandpa. They're a path to a better tomorrow. Aye, but today is not about thine path, Ben. Today we marshal support for our kin as she wages war for the glory and good name of the House Tennyson. The pancake eating competition is starting. Today are the finals for the feudal flapjack feast hosted by Pancake Palace. An impressive party of combatants have gathered this year. A mighty fine turnout indeed, Steve. <laughs> Oh, there's Gwen. Greetings, warrior. I am the pillager of pancakes! Oh, yeah! huh. Say, Bill, what glories and accolades are bestowed on the victor of this August competition? A lifetime supply of pancakes. These are Pancake Palace's famous flapjacks, created using the fabled secret recipe conjured up by the wizards of the kitchen. The secret list of ingredients has been protected by the mighty King Brunch for centuries. Look, Bill, it's... it's... your majesty. His Royal Highness, King Brunch, everyone! Ho, 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 ho! Who's hungry? The competition rules are simple. Eat! Last one standing will be proclaimed the champion. And now for the king's blessing. Breakfast is served! We're set for some amazing eating action today. And we can see that Sir Crepe is up to his old tricks using the classic dunking technique. Oh my, and look at the pillager showing no mercy to her opponents or her pancakes. The hammer technique by the blacksmith. Very period appropriate. Wow, an amazing display by Robin Hood. Say, what is the executioner doing? He seems to be using some sort of mystical absorption apparatus. I believe that's called a straw, Bill. Something isn't right about the executioner. How does he eat so many pancakes with a straw? Wrong question. It should be how does he eat pancakes at all? Ben, it might be worth checking out. Wait, the sooner it's over, the sooner we're out of this nightmare. Mission accepted. <laughs> Now to get closer. <laughs> Look at those fraudulent flapjack fiends. Are you seeing this, Steve? As clear as day, Bill, I have the same view as you. Well, what do we have here? He's not eating the pancakes. He's funneling them through a tube? Who would bow so low for a lifetime supply of awful? Only one way to know. Follow the goo. <laughs> Finding the culprit will be a piece of cake. Or should I say, piece of pancake? <laughs> oh. Oh. Storage room. The plot thickens. Huh? What is that monstrosity? What's the matter? Don't you like pancakes? Maurice! Only you would make a machine that turns pancakes into something even more disgusting. Yeah, well, what can I say? Trashing is my passion. Feast your eyes on my crowning achievement, Tennyson. The Antastoids! As we speak, Sydney is feeding a constant supply of pancakes into the tube, fueling my infestoid maker.